Hello developers, in this video we are going to see how we can enable wireless debugging in VS Code and in Android Studio as well and uh, we will use it for running this Flutter application and you can also use it uh, for the Android applications and uh, why we need wireless debugging because sometimes wired wire debugging is not handy and sometimes like uh, emulator doesn't work due to slow system or some issue so in that case uh, wireless debugging is very much helpful and there are two prerequisites for the wireless debugging first your physical device should have android version 11 or later and uh, your computer i mean your system and your smartphone should be connected with the same wi-fi network so this is the prerequisites and one more thing if developer option is not enabled in your smartphone then you need to enable it so let me tell you how you can enable it to enable the developer options in your smartphone, open settings and here search for build number and here you can see build number and type multiple times in this build number. So once you will get this confirmation message, confirm your pattern or password and then developer options will be enabled. So now back in the settings you can see a new option here developer options. So now you have to search for wireless debugging. So type here wireless, wireless and here I can see this wireless debugging option. So it can vary based on your smartphone. So right now it is turned up. So you need to turn it on. So click on this and here you can see this device name, IP and port and you can turn it on. And it will turn on once you are connected to the Wi-Fi network. As I told you earlier, your smartphone or your computer should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So once it is turned on, you are good to proceed with the setup. Okay, so as our device is ready with wireless debugging, so now let's configure it in the system. So for this, even if we are going to configure it for the VS Code, uh, we need to take help from Android Studio. So open Android Studio and uh, here you can create a new project or if you have any uh, existing Flutter or Android application then you can uh, open that uh, and uh, as you can see I have this my application android project so I'm going to open it so basically uh, we do not have to do anything this with this project it's just that we are now getting this device manager option that's why I just open this project so click on this device manager on your android studio and here you can see we are getting two options virtual physical so click on this physical tab virtual is for the emulators so click on this physical tab and as you can see i have this device already added so let me delete it so that you can go through the process okay so on this physical tab you can see this option pair using wi-fi click on this option pair using wi-fi and now you can see we have this QR code that we need to scan from the smartphone so in your smartphone uh, from the wireless debugging option uh, there will be two options like a pair device with QR code pair device with pairing code so here also there are two options so if any of the options is not working then you can try the other one so this QR one is handy that's why I'm going to use this QR one so scan this QR from your device and once it is scanned you can see this green tick like my device Samsung is connected you can close this pop-up and uh, now you can close this Android uh, project as well close project and you can close this Android studio as well and now back in this VS code you can see I am getting I am getting this SMG 781B that's basically my Samsung smartphone so that's how you can uh, enable wireless debugging in your system so now let me run this ui research project and show you build is success it is installing this application wirelessly in my system in my uh, physical device so once it will be installed keep watching your physical device it will open automatically in your physical device Okay, so as you can see now this is running in my 
smartphone i'm interacting with my smartphone and you can see these logs here this is how you can enable wireless debugging in few simple steps in your vs code as well as in android studio so yeah that's all for this video if you found it helpful make sure to like and subscribe